What's up, YouTube? I get a little busy during Christmas time. I'm sure everybody uh, everybody does. So I'm gonna go into an uh, overview of all the tanks. There's a 33 gallon long. <laughs> Get him to flare at me. Took the neons out from my female beta back there, put them in the 75 gallon, and then divided it again for them, for all the betas. So there's the 33 gallon. I think bef before I had the the T5s on this with CO2. I took the CO2 and the T5s off. Just running one T8 on there. Took all the highlight plants out. So it's kind of in a transitioning phase right now. All the low light plants are getting used to the low light instead of the high light. So but all the betas are doing good. One's looking good. Let's go over here. 125. That's just a piece of filter, sponge filtered chilling right there. Just ignore that. <laughs> There's blood parrots for you. They like to hide. They're scared. They're scaredy cats, that's for sure. So in this tank I got five blood parrots, eight denison barbs, and seven yo-yo loaches and four Siamese algae eaters. That's all that's in there now that I moved everything. There's what's going in there. Green Severum. I'm treating them for ick right now. In case you don't know to treat ick, turn the temperature up to 86 degrees and do as many vacuums and water changes as you can for two weeks. After that, turn it down. This is also a UV sterilizer that helps to kill ick. So there's a green Severum. He had ick. He's going in there, going in the 125, along with. red-tailed shark that's hiding. There he is. You can kind of see him back there. So, they're in QT right now. Get rid of this ick. There's the red-tailed shark. And then make sure everything else is okay and then add another 125. Here's a shrimp tank. I actually just redid this huge. I mean, it was a jungle in here, just full of water spite. Matter of fact, I put all the water spite in the 75 gallon. I'll show it to you. It's actually insane how how tall that water spite was in this little 15 gallon. A little hornwort floating up there and pennywort. And then basically a bunch of door sag, some other stuff in there. Uh, some chain swords in the back. Some Anubius. Um, I actually got new pygmy quarries in there. Eight pygmy quarries. So a bunch of shrimp, eight pygmy quarries, five autos, five or six autos actually, I'm not sure. I have to try to do a count sometime. And then I actually only have three, three danos, three of the Celeste Pearl danos. Uh, two of them are from my old group, the rest of them passed away. This one, see that one up there is a little baby. So I guess they had babies at some point and only one survived. There's one of the two. So I need to get some more of them. Dano right there. I was really, really excited to see him. I didn't even know he was in there for the longest time. There are a lot of shrimp in here. When I pour food out in front, I mean, you'll just see them all start coming. There's actually a lot, a lot up on the floating plants. I think they're trying to stay high since I put these pygmy quarries in. I don't think they like them. <laughs> but there's a 15 gallon. Everything over here. Oh no, I haven't shown you the 8 gallon yet. Let's go over to the 8 gallon. Uh, it's kind of a mess right now. I need to get to work on it. There's too much penny wart in here. I need to, I want to try to plant some. Those leaves are getting real dirty. I need to just wipe them off. You can see that Anubius flower is still there. It doesn't, it hasn't been purling and you know letting all those bubbles out. I assume it's just probably slowly dying off. So. 
Uh, I took my HC out. I don't think I've shown you that. And replanted a couple little patches here and there. It keeps popping up though. It needs to get roots. What I did though is put a bunch of it up there. And as you can see, there are tons of roots growing in when it floats. I mean, it's just crazy. So I think eventually, sometime, I'm going to need to start cutting pieces off that. Matter of fact, I might start selling it. I mean, it's just growing like crazy up there. Like the stuff that's coming out of the water too much isn't doing too good, but underneath all that stuff's just looking great. I mean, that's the way to grow HC. If I'm going to grow HC from now on, I might just get like a, a mesh, some mesh thing and tie it to that and then sit it on the top of the water. I mean, I guess that helps all the CO2 floats up, probably gets trapped underneath there and it's right up by the light, so it likes it up there. <laughs> some plants floated up, i got to replant. But yeah. I said she's not doing too bad though. It was a lot. So it was actually a lot smaller than that when I planted it. Some of it. Uh, so that's what's going on with a gallon. This filter is nasty. I need to clean it. But I've had it running for a month, maybe maybe longer than that actually, a month and a half, and it hasn't been cleaned yet. So definitely need to clean it. All right, there's the eight gallon. Forty gallon breeder was right there. You can see the march from the stand. It's down. Don't need that anymore. And here's the 75. A lot of these decorations are just in here to help with, back, you know, get some beneficial bacteria in there. Like those Roman Colosseum type things I'm not going to keep in there. A lot of fake plants right there I'm not going to keep in there. Uh, so what I have in here now is like 18 Neon Tetras, 13 Rasboras, one Bristlenose Pleco hiding back there. Oh, excuse me. Uh, six angels, four Corys, but I'm going to get at least two more. There's my little girl, Ram, and I still need to get her a new boyfriend. And it's looking good. I'm liking it so far. Well, I kind of want to be nice to get these fake plants out of here so I can kind of start getting real plants. I think I'm going to try to put a bunch of dwarf hair grass on this side. But yeah, that water, all that water spite, all of that, I mean, that's, you know, that's tall. All that was in the 15 gallon. <laughs> I kid you not. It's crazy. So I pulled it all out and planted it over here. Obviously, I can't wait to get some filters off of here. That Tetra Whisper filter. There's an Aqua Clear uh, hang on the back filter up there. Again, just helping with the, ba the this bacteria since I moved so many fish in at once. So I'll be taking those off in a couple weeks, make it look a little nicer, take that castle out and all these fake plants. Also this driftwood's been in here forever, it still hasn't sunk. It's actually resting on that decoration right now, but it still won't sink, so might get some rocks and tie it down. I also don't think I'm going to keep that piece of driftwood in there. But there's a 75 gallon, I, couldn't, I just couldn't believe how tall that water spike was in that 15 gallon. It reaches the top of the 75 gallon, so. <laughs> well, there's a quick overview on all my tanks. Sorry it's been so long without a, an update video. Hope you guys had a good Christmas and New Year's and all that good stuff. Thanks for watching.